Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for August 9th, 2017. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. Right here, what you'll notice is that price has already uh, seen a rejection day. The previous session is already pushing downward today past the previous month's close, also below the previous session's low, and is, and is pushing lower. Yesterday was day one of a rejection day, but we know that in this uptrending structure, we haven't seen uh, more than just a handful of days on these pullbacks. So we may not see too much more downside, but given the rejection here, at the very least is 2457 being tested uh, with a shot at seeing a move as deep as 34 to 40. So 24, 34, 24, 36, 24, 40, nice zone right there for confluence. Still, that would put you uh, at the, the lower PMA for a shot at pushing this thing higher. So you could see more weakness here, perhaps as low as those levels, but perhaps 24.57 may be as far as we go. Uh, if price gets to 24.57, the low two weeks ago, and can't hold below that zone, there could be a bounce opportunity. So right now, basically what we're seeing, this is what we talked about in our trading room yesterday, was the fact that price right now is uh, is forming a range right here, and it's very narrow, and it's having to wiggle out, and it's going to continue to build this range as it trades further and deeper into August. Uh, eventually, uh, we will see this thing shake out and see further resolution of the trend. We've been trending higher. So any pullback here could be a great buying opportunity for another round of strength sometime down the road. So right now we're going to endure a little bit of a pullback. We'll see how far. We have a couple of key levels to watch. First things first, how does price respond at 24.57? All right, let's take a look here at crude oil. Here's crude this is incredible how tightly coiled crude has been. Uh, this is yesterday's finished five-day range bar uh, on the Pivot Boss ADR indicator. What that tells us is yesterday we had a final closing range of $1.46 on a five-day basis. So the range over the last five days was $1.46. It had been averaging $2.80 on a 10-day basis, $1.96 on a five-day basis. So you can see how this thing has gone from high volatility where this thing swung higher and then look how this uh, five day has dropped significantly. So this tells you we're super tightly coiled. We're at a, a cycle low in terms of volatility. If you look at the price chart, you'll see how tightly coiled this is. This all is the calm before the storm and at some point here you will see another big wave of volatility where we see an expansion of the price range. And because we're so tightly coiled, again, I always remind, that doesn't give us any indication on direction. This can mean that we break out in any direction. It just tells us that right now we're tightly compressed and we should be looking for expansion. Uh, but because the trend has been mostly to the upside, ideally you would see a continuation of that trend. So if there were any push downward first, you got to be more cautious because that could be a failed range expansion that allows you to get into the upside. Anytime you have a narrow range of this magnitude here, uh, you tend to see the first breakout is a false one, and then the real move occurs uh, in the opposite direction. So you just be care careful and cautious. So nothing really to say right now in terms of uh, an actionable idea other than be cautious and be patient inside this middle chop, wait for expansion. Uh, if we see a break to the downside with these Pimas lending support, that could be a great buy for a push much higher. So right now, watching and waiting in crude oil. Here's the NQ. The NQ also saw a degree of weakness here. The previous session where price basically uh, saw rejection above recent highs yet again. So right here. Uh, 42 showing rejection above that zone. Uh, every time price gets above that area or above 30 in general, we're seeing rejections. So not any uh, further acceptance above 
59.50 and instead price pulling back after that rejection above that zone. So again, very similar to the ES, a test of the low two, week, two weeks ago likely to occur with a move as deep as 57.29 while still remaining uh, bullish overall. So this could see a pullback as deep as this zone right here, which is the midpoint, and still be a longer term buy. The uptrend remains mainly intact. Uh, right now we do have a key range that has basically served its purpose for the last couple of months. And right now the market is deciding, is it going to see expansion from this range? Or will we fill back into the range, perhaps as low as the lower edge? But because the overall, overall trend structure has been bullish, any one of these remains a longer term buying opportunity. So right now, while we may see some degree of pullback, overall strength is to the upside. And even now, price is barely holding in the PMAs, which tells us again that um, you know the trend structure is still bullish, still stacks and slopes, so bulls still defending in this area. So right now, very tightly cooled price action, and we'll see how it plays out heading into the rest of the session. All right, that's it for now. Good luck, trade well, and I'll talk to you soon.